Dogman and Cat Kid. Written and illustrated by Dav Pilkey, as George Beard and Harold Hutchins, with color by Jose Garibaldi. Dogman, behind the scenes. What up, Poochies? We're George and Harold. Me too. As you might remember, we're in fifth grade now. That means we're totally mature. At deep too, y'all. Anywho, our new teacher has been making us read all of these old-timey books lately. My, what a splendid book, my good man. Let me adjust my monocle so I may imbibe its essence more indubitably. Those aren't monocles. They're just rings from plastic milk jugs. What? We can't use our imaginations anymore? So anyway, East of Eden is actually a pretty cool book about good and evil and stuff. It totally inspired us. So we started making a brand new Dogman graphic novel. It's a tale of good, a tale of evil, and, and a, a tale, tale of, of stuff. stuff. But before we begin, <laughs> let's recap our story thus far. One time, a cop and a police dog got hurt in an explosion. In the hospital, the doctor gave them sad news. Boo-hoo! Your head is dying, cop! Aw, oh, man. And your body is dying, dog! <laughs> but then, the nurse lady got a great idea. Let's sew the dog's head onto cop's body. You're a genius! Hooray! So they had a big operation, and like a warrior born of adversity, a hero arose from the ashes. Hooray, Hooray for, for Dog, dog Man! man. Along the way, Dogman has made some great friends. Sarah Hadoff, world's greatest reporter. Zuzu, world's greatest poodle. Chief, world's greatest chief. And one terrible enemy, Petey, world's evilest cat. I'll get you, Dogman, if it's the last thing I do. In our last story, Petey tried to make a clone of himself, but his clone was a kitten. Things went from bad to worse. But one lucky night, all of that changed. Lil Petey found a new home. But can he escape his destiny? Chapter 1, The Kitty Sitter. Early one morning, clank, 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 clank. Good morning, Dogman. I'm fixing my robot easy day. Dogman! It's me, Chief. You're late again. Get to vote now! Yoo-hoo! Hello there! Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Mrs. Suspicion Flame, the world's greatest babysitter. Here's my card, and my impressive list of references. I specialize in cat sitting, and I can start today. Hi, doll man. You funny work. Well, uh, hello there, young man. Hi, Papa. I am not your papa. You sure? I'm a professional governess. I've got a British accent and everything. I sing songs about how much fun it is to clean up your room and stuff. Okay, prove it. Sing me a song. Okay, I will. Hmm. Just a spoonful of high fructose corn syrup gives the medicine possible side effects, which may include nausea, headaches, dry mouth, runny nose, and diarrhea. Uh, look. Can you hand me the vice grip? Yeah, here you go. Thanks. What you doing? I'm fixing ADHD. Hey, did you add solar panels? Yeah. Wow, you can't even see them. Interesting. Thanks. Hey, where are all the missiles? I took them out. Why? ADHD is my friend. He doesn't need missiles. ADHD is not your friend. I see it. Here, I'll show you. Flip yourself over ADHD. See? He's just obeying you. I programmed him to do that. Obedience does not equal friendship. <laughs> No, he's not. First you remove his missiles, then you give him solar panels. How does he get any power at night? He doesn't. He just sleeps at night like me. That does it. You and I need to have a talk. No, we don't. Yes, we do. 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 No, we don't. Look, I'll buy you some ice cream. Okay, let's go. Chapter 2, Hollywood Hero. Meanwhile, uh, <laughs> Dogman should be here any minute. Is he always this late? Yeah, but, well, he's a maverick. He plays by his own rules, but he gets the job done. He's the thinking man's rin-tin-tin. He's tough. He's serious. <coughs> no! Cut it out! Get off! Quit! Stop! Bad doggy! Why? Why do we have to go through this every day? Ahem. Oh, yeah, Dogman, this is Sam Hamilton. He's a big-time Hollywood director. He's going to make a movie about you. That's right. It's the true story of a hero. It's got depth, intelligence, and passion. Wow, just like our stories. Right, Dogman? Hey, give me that poster. Give it! Ha <laughs> ha, he always does this. Here you go. 
No, I can't work with him. He is an idiot. But he's the best cop we've got. Okay, I'll give him one more chance. This is Yole Caprese. She's the world's greatest actress. Hey, don't do it. Don't do it. Good doggy. Then... Ciao. Italian for hello, pronounced ciao. Yole! Yole, this is Chief. Hello, doll. And you must be Dogman. Yeah, but he's a bum. He eats everything and he's always late. Ah, but his heart is good, no? Ciao, bello. Translation, hello, handsome. I have a job for you. But... You shall be my bodyguard. But... And I shall reward you. But... With tummy rubs. Introducing Flippy Rama. Ready? Okay, let's go make a movie. But... But... Oh, boy. This is going to be great. Dogman's going to be a famous bodyguard. And I bet he won't make any mistakes this time. Ain't that right, Dogman? Chapter 3. The Talk. Ice cream, here we come. Hey, where do you think you're going? He's coming with us. Sorry, kid. Make him stay here. Why? Just make him stay here, or no ice cream. Wait for me here, ADHD. Ten minutes later. Here you go, kid. Thank you. How's the ice cream? Good. Sorry I had to trick you with this disguise. You didn't trick me. All right, smarty pants. Go ahead and be mean. But you don't understand how I suffer. The cops are looking everywhere for me. They're going to put me back in jail and throw away the key. I got nowhere to hide and nobody to help me. I'm all alone. I'll help you, Papa. Do you promise? Yeah. Great. I'm going to move in with you guys and we can continue your evil training. I don't know you mean evil, Papa. Would you stop calling me Papa? I'm not your Papa. You're my clone. That means you and me are the same. I'm evil, so you have to be evil too. You don't have any choice in the matter. Well, I want to be perfect like Dogman. Dogman isn't perfect. He's a goody-goody milk toast gumdrop. He never breaks any laws. He never has any fun. I didn't break any laws either. But you just did break a law. I did? Yes. I'm an escaped convict, and you promised to help me. That's called harboring a fugitive. That's against the law. It is? Yep, it's a felony. And look at this sidewalk. You dripped ice cream all over it. That's littering. You're, you're a monster. And now you're jaywalking. Boy, you really are evil. Maybe I should be taking lessons from you. Give yourself to the dark side. It is your destiny. My son. Chapter 4. An aching kind of growing. Hi, I'm Sarah Hatoff, the world's greatest reporter. Today is the first day of shooting for the new Dogman movie, and the crowds are bursting with excitement. Hooray! Let's meet some of the fans. Oh look, it's little Petey. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Zuzu. You must be the nanny. Are you excited about the Dogman movie? Dogman movie? That's the dumbest movie idea ever. <laughs> be nice, Zuzu. Yeah, be nice, Zuzu. <laughs> oh, look, here come the stars. Wow, it's international action hero Ding Dong Magoo. I'll be playing Dogman. Dogman doesn't have muscles. Next, it's Yole Caprese. She'll be playing me. Viva la Italia. Hooray for Italy. But I'm Australian. Here comes Samson J. Johnson as chief. Enough is enough. I have had it with these doggone actors in this doggone limo. And finally, it's comic superstar Scooter McRibs. <laughs> Hi, dummies. I'll be playing Petey the Cat. That guy doesn't look anything like me. Uh, uh, I mean, like Petey. And now let's enter the studio and go behind the scenes. Wow, look at all this stuff. These miniature buildings are so realistic. Ooh, and what are these? These are the robotic hot dogs for the big action scene in Act 3. And check out our pièce de résistance. French for a super awesomest thingy. It's, it's filling, filling the, the gyro. gyro! Nice. Just another robot we built. I control them all with this complicated remote. Gee, it seems like that could be dangerous if the remote fell into the wrong hands. Ah, oh, that, that'd never happen. I guard this baby with my life. <laughs> Launch break! Hey, look out! Well, come on, darling. It's time to go. Bye-bye. Are we going home? No way. We're going to have some fun. Rats, the door is locked. Hey, go through this pet flap and unlock the door. Yeah, no. Do it for fun. Yeah, but... Do it for adventure. I know, but... Do it for Papa. Wow, look at all this stuff. Finally, I can kick off these high heels. Zing, zong. Dump this old lady disguise. Foosh. And start dressing like my true self. A filthy, rotten, low down. Foop. Good for nothing. Deplorable. Contemptible. Despicable. Loathsome, detestable, ignominious, supervillain. And now it's your turn. We start with a mask, then add a cape, and then finish with... 
retractable steel claws. Triple Flippy Rama. Ready? Dude, we are totally rocking these bad guy costumes. This is just for Pretender, right? Sure, kid. It's all just make believe. Chapter 5 The Dog Man. Sam E. Hamilton presents a Gassy Behemoth Studios production The Dog Man. Starring Yule Caprese, Scooter McRibs, Ding Dong Magoo, and Samson J. Johnson as Chief. Canine. Suitable for canines. Enough is enough! I have had it with these doggone crimes in this doggone city! Get me the dog man! Here I am, Chief. I'm ready to roll. Oops! Clunk! Cut! Hey! You're supposed to be guarding Yole Caprese, not sleeping on the set! You made Ding Dong Magoo trip and fall down! Yeah! You owe him an apology! Yeah! <laughs> he licked the insides of my mouth! I have had it with these doggone dog-headed cops in this doggone Dogman movie! Dogman, you're... What's going on? Dogman has been messing up this movie all day! First, he wrecked the big romance scene! Dogman, I think I'm falling in... <laughs> Cut! Then he ruined the big dramatic scene! Don't you die on me! Don't you die on me! P.U. <laughs> Who cut the cheese? Who sneaked a one-cheek squeak? Who popped a fluffy? Who pinched a stink monkey? Who blew the brown bugle? Who let the beans Who out? Who tooted their trouser trumpet? Who's got gravy pants? Who's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Who airbrushed their boxers? Who sneezed on the wrong end? Cut! And then he ruined Petey's big scene. <laughs> I shall destroy the... the... Hey! Triple Flippy Rama. Ready? Cut! 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 You've been a bad doggy. Go home, dogman! But Sam... Sorry, Yole. We've had too many problems. And if one more bad thing happens, I'll have to shut this whole movie down. Interesting. Chapter 6. The Bark Knight Rises. Uh-oh. He's gonna jump on me. He's gonna lick my face. I can't take it. Spare me the indignity. Hey. He's over here, Chief. He's hiding behind that plant again. What did you do this time? Were you a bad doggy again? Leave him alone! Everybody makes mistakes. I don't know what happened, Dogman, but everything will be okay. Go home and get some rest. Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> but then... Flip! Kushunk. ADHD, primary directive, obey little Petey. Kutunk. Oh, hi, Dogman. How's it going? Rough. Oh, no. Is little Petey missing again? We just saw him. He was with his nanny. What? What's wrong? Tell me. Okay, one word. First syllable. Do you have to pee? Second syllable. Are you drinking something? Coffee? Tea? Hmm. The first syllable is P, and the second syllable is T. P T. P T. P.T.? Are you telling me that P.T. disguised himself as a nanny? And that he was mistakenly hired to babysit little P.T.? And at this very moment, he may be planning something evil? Or plotting an act of corruption that may tear at the very fabric of our society? And even while we speak, little P.T. may be drawn into this foulness, causing him to doubt his own true nature and careen down a dark pathway toward a lifetime of nihilistic criminality? Is that what you're saying? Let's go save the world! This is where we just saw them. But, ban from the set. Do not let this cop inside. Okay, Dogman. We're going to go find the chief. You must find another way to get inside. Oh. Hey! So, you thought you'd dug a tunnel into the studio, huh? Looks like you popped up in the wrong spot. What an idiot. You're coming with me. Zip. Hey, come back here. When I get my hands on you, you're going to wish you were never born. Come on and show your face, you filthy animal. You mangy mo- You dumb jerk! You dirty old flea bag! You glorified crossing guard! You cheese-faced water buffalo! You goofy-eyed snickerdoodle! Hooray! Hey! If I see that little dog-headed cop again, there's gonna be big trouble! Chapter 7. 
a bunch of stuff that happened next. Puppy Advisory. Exciting content. I finally figured out a plan to shut this movie down. Come on, kid. Don't call me kid. Call me cat kid. Why? It's my superhero name. We're not superheroes. We're supervillains. We're the bad guys, remember? Oh, yeah. The pretend bad guys, right? Come on, cat kid. Yay! What you doing, Papa? I'm setting a trap. Why? So we can capture Yole Caprese in this lasso. Why? So we can kidnap her. Why? If they don't have a star, they can't finish the movie. Why? Stop asking dumb questions! Why? Meanwhile... Okay, people. We're about to shoot the big action scene. Are the mini motor scooters in place? Yes, sir. Is the dogmobile gassed up? Yep, sir. Are the robotic hot dogs ready? Um... I lost the controller. You what?! I uh, just set it down at lunchtime and now it's gone. You've lost the control- How could things get any worse? How to operate the dogmobile. Mash, mash, pull, pull, pull. <laughs> well, it took forever, but I finally got out of that hole. And I vow here and now to get my sweet revenge against that crazy dog-headed cop. <laughs> Clunk. Hey! Meanwhile, the robot controller is lost, the dogmobile is missing, and there's a hole in the side of my studio. How could things get any worse? Oh, Sam. Hey! Zip. Yole! Cosa sucede? What's going on? Ha <laughs> ha! Cosa sucede? Cosa sucede? We gotta, we gotta! Ah, don't worry, she'll be fine. He doesn't look very happy. Just put it back, okay? No! We're the bad guys. We do evil stuff. But Papa! Look, the world is not a very nice place. It's rotten. It's unfair. It's horrible. And the only way to get ahead is to be even more rotten. More unfair. And more horrible. Check out our brand new motto. Thoughtless mayhem is best. Now, do you want to have some real fun? Cut it down. Use those steel claws of yours and slice the rope. No! Oh, come on! Don't be a baby! Cut that rope! No! Thou shalt obey! Thou shalt follow thy destiny! Thou shalt! Thou shalt! Thou shalt! Thou mayest! Thou mayest! Thou shalt! Thou mayest! Thou shalt! Thou mayest! Thou mayest! Thou mayest! Thou mayest! Thou Seize! Slice! Swoosh! Swoosh! Wow! Sweet! Cool, right? Cat Kid, you saved us! <laughs> Hooray for Cat Kid! Lil Petey, go, go, go! Chapter 8 Destroy All Weenies. Meanwhile, uh, 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 I have had it with these doggone disasters in this doggone studio! I quit! Me too! My three! But fellas! Bonk. I'm ruined! How could things get any worse? <laughs> Uh, attack! Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna get that dog at a cop if it's the last thing I do. Clunk. Soon the Mechaweenies began to organize. Listen up, bubs. We gotta destroy this city. Oh, look at the little cutie pies. We're not cutie pies. We're totally ripped. Check out these pythons, baby. <laughs> it's not funny. Get him! Triple Flippy Rama. Ready? Basta! Enough. I think we're gonna have to fight these guys. But you can eat them, dog man. They're robots. That's right. And you guys are outnumbered 30 to 3. Correction, 30 to 6. Who are you guys? I'm Purse Lady, bearer of the purse. This is Super Fang. <sighs> and I'm Chief. Psst. Don't say your real name. Make up a superhero name. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
I'm Chief Man. <laughs> what? You guys are the dumbest superheroes I've ever seen. Purse lady? What's so scary about a purse? <laughs> pam, 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 pam. You're gonna pow. I'm gonna whack, whack. Triple Flippy Rama. Ready? Ready? Pam, pam, pow, pam, pam, whack, 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 whack. And so. Uh, you okay, boss? Dive ego, baby. Poo poo pee pee. So, does anybody else think I'm a dumb superhero? Yeah! Bye bye, nice lady! Rats! I can't believe it! Punt. Those idiot mecha weenies just gave up! But I'm not giving up! I've got one final plan. How could things get any worse? If only I could make him bigger. I need a super growth formula. Something convenient. Preferably in a non aerosol spray. Hey, wait a minute! I know just where to go! Chapter 9 Cannery Grow. Quick! I need a can of Cannery Grow! Hi, welcome to Cannery Glow! Hi! I need a can of Cannery Grow! How may I help you? I need a can of Cannery Grow! Why didn't you say so in the first place? Can I have your phone number? Why? What for? It's for our computer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, let's see. Um. Uh. Dum dee dum dee dum. One. Hmm. Uh, let me think now. What comes after one? Wait, don't tell me. Would you hurry it up? You just made me lose count. Now I have to start all over. Uh, 22 minutes later. Ten. Now can I buy a can of Cannery Grow? Well, do you have a Cannery Grow frequent buyer's card? No. Would you like to apply for one? No. Are you sure? You can save 10% on your next... No! I don't want a Cannery Grow frequent buyer's card. I don't care about your special office. That wasn't even my real phone number. All right, all right. You're not a very nice person. I was just doing my job. All I wanted to do was help you. I tried my best, but you didn't have to be so mean. All you had to do was ask nicely. I have feelings, you know. I'm sorry, you're right. I'll ask nicely, okay? May I please have a can of Cannery Grow? Sorry, we're closed today. Zong! I'm taking this. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm calling 911. Let's see now. Uh. Um. Hmm. And so. Chapter 10 Beast of Eden. Finally, made it out of this hole. Uh oh. Hey! And now for the final touch. Uh oh. Here comes trouble. Swoosh. Swoosh. Zoom. Slice, slice, slice. Ha <laughs> ha. You missed. Triple Flippy Rama. Ready? Pam, pam. Cat Kid, come back! Hi, Easy. You gotta come with me. We need your help. Flip up, flip up, flip up, flip up, flip up. He's, He's just obeying you. I programmed, I programmed him to do, him that. do that. He's not He's really not your really friend. friend. Obedience, Obedience and, friendship and friendship are not the, are same, not the same, same things. things. Flip up, flip up, flip up. Open up, ADHD! Enter main programming mode. Kshunk. ADHD, primary directive. Obey little PD. These are important words, ADHD. They mean you don't have to obey, and there's no primary directive. From now on, you can choose your own path. ADHD primary directive. Thou mayest. Chunk a chunk, chunk a chunk. You don't have to be my friend anymore. You don't have to. Soon. Well, well, well. Look who's back. I captured all your friends while you were gone. Now you can get rid of the butt cake by my good friend ADHD. Hey, ADHD, where'd you go? This I gotta see. ADHD! No! What happened? Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll tell you what happened. The amazing cat kid replaced all of ADHD's atomic batteries with solar panels. It's been cloudy all day long, so ADHD couldn't charge up. And now it's nighttime. What's the matter, ADHD? Are you feeling a little run down? Maybe he just needs a little kick. Papa, no! Wow, wow, wow. No! Yep, I was right. All he needed was a little kick. Pat, pat, pat. <coughs> ah, quit your belly aching. He was only a robot. Stop being such a baby. He wasn't even your friend. And besides, friends don't matter anyway. It's all about family. Your blood, your roots, your destiny. That's what's important. One hour later. If you don't stop crying, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... We're free! Us Astro. too! What happened? Was it a meteor? A comet? An asteroid? Idiot! I think it was... How'd you get the power back? Draw, 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 draw. Fold, 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 fold. Staple, staple, staple. Chapter 11 of Rice and Yen. A mini-comic by ADHD. Onigiri 100 Chapter 12, Timshel. Hooray! Well, Petey, it's time to take you to cat jail. Rats! You have the right to remain fluffy. Hey, kid, anything you purr may be used against you. Do you want to have lunch together after I escape tomorrow? Okay. You have the right to a mouse-shaped toy with a jingle bell inside. Il mio héroe. My hero. You were very brave today, bello mio. Yeah, but I wasn't perfect. I heard about the future. I learned it. I gave up. They even stole this costume. I guess I'll never be perfect. And now that you don't have to be perfect, you can be good. Well, good night. Ciao, buonanotte. It's better than tomorrow. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, look at that guy. Hey, mister, we took some stuff from your movie studio. So? We are going give it all back. I don't care about that stuff. I gotta scram before somebody makes me clean up this mess. What about this costume? Keep them. In fact, take anything you want, kid. Anything? And so... I hope all our stuff fits inside our house. Yep, it does. Now if it's just a special place where we could work together. I didn't know we had an elevator. I hope all our stuff fits in there. Yep, it does. Can I press the button? Hey! I didn't know our house had a grand ballroom. Wow, it's a room full of balls. This is grand. And so the three friends worked and played together. Flip, 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 flip. Until it was time for bed. The end. But wait. If you thought our adventure was over, you, you ain't read, read nothing, nothing yet. yet. At this very moment, George and Harold are reading another old-timey book and getting a bunch of new-timey ideas. So get ready for an epic tale of depth, maturity, and intelligence because a brand new Dogman adventure is coming your way. Flip, 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 flip. Dogman, Lord of the Fleas. If you like thrills and you like laughs, then Dogman is go. Dogman is go? That don't make no sense. Whoops. Oh, we like it. How to draw the Bark Knight in 46 ridiculously easy steps. How to draw Super Mecha Philly in 37 ridiculously easy steps. How to draw Cat Kid in 39 ridiculously easy steps. Learn to draw more stuff at Colastic.com and Pilkey.com. Notes by George and Harold. The titles of chapters 9, 10, and 11 are parodies of the titles of other books by John Steinbeck. The words on pages 55 and 231 are direct quotes from East of Eden by Steinbeck. The Japanese words in chapter 11 mean onigiri, rice balls, and 100 yen, about a dollar. Timshil is the Hebrew word for thou mayest.